let's talk about an extremely important skill that is crucial if you're wanting to draw realistic objects from reference photos. Now this isn't going to sound like something you need to learn, but bear with me. I want to talk about learning how to look. So many people when they're drawing from reference photos draw what they think they see and not what they actually see. And I do think learning how to translate what you see and do that is a really important skill. Now it's all well and good me just saying draw what you see, but I do think that you kind of have to tune yourself into doing that. So I thought it'd be good today to draw something that is a little bit different, but also would be easy to make a lot of assumptions on. I want to draw some sushi. Now I'm gonna focus on this video on just drawing the one roll because I think it's gonna be a bit easier to follow. If you would like to draw the full picture, it is available on my Patreon along with over 200 hours of other tutorials. Now whenever I'm first looking at a reference, I'm always beginning by looking for the lightest color. Now today that's a little bit of a red herring because this sushi has quite a lot of white in it actually. There's some very small areas of white that for now I'm going to ignore and I'm looking for kind of the next lightest color. So I'm particularly focusing on the rice to start with. Now rice, you assume that it's going to be white. So you would think that the lightest color would be white, but actually here it seems to me to be more like a cool gray. That said, when I look a little bit closer, it's not all cool gray. Around the edges is a cool gray, whereas more towards the middle, it's a warmer gray or even almost a yellow. So I can begin by putting down a base layer of some of these grays just to give me something that I can then build upon. From here, I want to start looking at some of the mid-tone colors and begin marking in shapes. Now, although on the rice right section, I can see a lot of gray, around the objects in the center, like the cucumber, it looks more like a brown. And actually, a lot of the darker colors around here are more of a darker brown tone. But I don't wanna go straight in with a dark color, so I'm going to use a light brown and just mark in some of the shapes. Now, when I'm drawing here, I'm not focusing on drawing a piece of cucumber or drawing a piece of fish. I'm literally looking at the shapes. If I can get the shapes down in the right kind of place, then it is going to end up looking like sushi. And that's all I'm trying to achieve here. Now, looking back at the rice, as I say, a lot of people assume that it's going to be white because rice is white. But when you actually look, it is really, in some areas, some pretty dark greys. So I'm going to use a kind of mid to dark grey to begin marking in some of the shapes. I can see a lot of outlines of the grains of rice and I can also see they tend to look darker towards the middle. I think the main thing here is to trust what you see even though it may seem like it's going to be too dark. Now once I filled in all of this rice it does look too dark but that's in comparison to everything else I've got on the sheet of paper. It looks a bit weird right now and that's fine. I can then start filling in the easier more obvious bits so for example on the top of the cucumber it is dark green although a darker green than this particularly at the top and the bottom of the cucumber is a light green. Then also some of the darker areas towards the middle are kind of a reddish brown which I imagine is from the source. And then we can move on to another less obvious part. So I personally from memory would assume that the seaweed around the sushi would be a dark green. But on looking at the reference photo it's actually much more of a very dark and mid grey in some areas. And it would be tempting to put some green in here, but I honestly can't see any. Now I do find that the more I draw and the more I look, the more that I'm able to see. So for example, now that I've drawn around the edge and I've drawn in that seaweed, it shows that actually the rice should be even darker. So I can go in with that extremely dark gray and particularly around the corners, just deepen that down still a fair bit more. I wouldn't describe my way of drawing as looking once and then not looking again. I'm continually looking at the whole drawing because something that you may not see to start with, you will see a little bit later. So I can keep deepening down the source section in the middle, adding in some quite bright reds. And then that shows that actually the rice needs to be a little bit more yellow around the middle. Even though up until now, I felt like I could only really see greys, adding that red in has shown yellow needs to be there. So now at this point of the drawing, I've added quite a lot of colors to the rice section. I haven't used any white and I've used some pretty dark greys. But because I've drawn what I can see, it still looks like white rice and it looks realistic.
Now these are the main colors I can see within the reference. If you're struggling to see what is actually there, I generally find zooming in on something like an iPad really helps. Taking it kind of out of context so you're not drawing a piece of sushi, you're just drawing some random colors and shapes. It makes it easier to not listen to what your brain tells you should be there. Now this is an extremely important skill that I think step one to learning is being aware that it's something you should learn. But I do have some other tips on how to improve your colour pencil drawing. Check out the video here. Happy drawing guys, I'll see you in the next one.